The National Football League released a domestic violence prevention ad during last week's Super Bowl. The ad featured a woman calling 911 ordering a pizza. And it turns out that's one of the ways Brainerd's Mid-Minnesota Women's Center teaches women how to call for help when their abuser is present. Our Scott Sheehan has a closer look at local efforts to help women who suffer from abuse. Football, testosterone, parties and alcohol. All of those have become synonymous with Super Bowl Sunday. However, there's something the National Football League would like to change that has been linked to the big game, domestic violence. There is no hard research that proves that fact. Not because there's a football game on or because celebrating that sports event may involve the use of alcohol. Um, alcohol doesn't cause battering. It, it can be used as an excuse for battering. I was drunk, so I'm not responsible for what I did. The NFL released an ad during the game of an abused woman making a 911 call and talking like she's ordering a pizza. I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. Ma'am, you've reached 911. This is an emergency line. Uh, large with half pepperoni, half mushroom. This strategy is among the training the Mid-Minnesota Women's Center gives their victims before they return home. We know to ask certain questions that keep it simple, whether it's yes or no, like, are you safe? Do you need me to call the police department? Is he there? Um, that way it won't hint off her abuser that she is calling for help. We've also told them to call and they can say that they're ordering a pizza or, and again, then keep the question simple so that we can see what she needs and he won't know that she's calling for help. The Mid-Minnesota Women's Center says the best way to prevent domestic violence is to teach our kids early what constitutes abuse. We actually do go into the high school and present um, a class on dating relationships and bullying. Having shelters is a good thing. Shelters are a band-aid on the problem. We're after the fact. We need to become proactive and deal with young people before they get into serious dating relationships that can turn violent. The Mid-Minnesota Women's Center says women can stay at their housing anywhere from a couple of days to months to ensure they're as safe as possible. Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. And the Mid-Minnesota Women's Center says they see an increase of women leaving their homes during the summer because their kids are on break from school. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.